Have you ever wondered if you can refund the DLC on Steam? Let's put it to the test. So let's just go to our account details. Let's go to our purchase history and let's go on The Sims 4 and The Sims 4 uh, Discover University. So here we've got uh, The Sims Discover University and then The Sims 4 base game. So I wonder if I have to refund the base game uh, to refund the DLC or will it just be its own thing? Let's have a look. So I would like a refund. I would like to request a, a refund, please. Um, let's try again. Don't worry guys, if you get that message, just don't worry about it. Just do it again, it'll probably work. Uh, choose refund. Uh, return to my PayPal, please. Let's, let's just select a reason and then submit request. Your help request has been submitted to Steam support and, and, and we'll get an email if we uh, get accepted for the refund. So I'll let you know if we do. So it's been about 90 minutes since I requested the refund for the DLC and uh, I've got an email here. Uh, your purchase has been refunded. We've issued the refund to the payment provider. You should see uh, credit or the original charge removed from your statement for 14 days as 14 pounds 2 pounds 17 pounds that i should get back to my paypal so it looks like that you can just refund the dlc on its own because i haven't refunded the sims 4 game yet so it's still here uh, i've got an update for it though Let's see, update, remove the DLC. So I've just ended Steam in Task Manager. So we're going to launch it again and see if it uh, registers as we still own in the DLC that I just got refunded. So we've got The Sims 4 here and it doesn't look like that we've got the DLC anymore. And yeah, I I don't have it anymore. I'm pretty sure you can only refund it though uh, within two weeks after launching the, the DLC or the game that has the DLC. And I think you need uh, under two hours to actually uh, be able to refund the DLC. So keep that in mind if you ever want to refund the DLC. Thanks for watching. Adios amigos.